I don't know if you can see this, but the rabbits have invaded my room and they're up to something. I'm sure of it. Just just look at their faces. Look at this guy. Just 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 look at him. No. No! They invaded my toy! Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Rayman games for the Sony PS2. Rayman Arena, also called Rayman M, is a pretty bad racing game. It has an original idea, they made them race on foot instead of cars or carts, and since they race on foot they made the levels like an extreme military course, with stuff to climb on and stuff to jump on, but the game isn't well made. The level designs are poor, you get stuck pretty often into something in the level. And aside of races you have battle arenas, where you collect power-ups and hit your opponents. The power-ups are unfair, there are two categories, overpowered power-ups and unuseful ones. My recommendation is to not play the game, it feels unfinished and in the rough. If you want to play this game and have a GameCube, I suggest you play the GameCube version. That one is like a remastered version of this one, with better level designs, where you don't get stuck into everything, better graphics, and in the, and in the battle stages you get hearts and a timer. The game is pretty average. It's not broken or anything, but it doesn't hook you. And it's interesting that the level designs are annoying and great at the same time. I mean, they are creative but running through them doesn't give you a positive feeling. You know they are inventive, but it, it just isn't that fun to run around in them, in the racetracks or in the battle arenas. And even if the challenges are diverse, you do different stuff like time trials, races or collecting stuff on the track. But still, I don't know, the game didn't hook me, I consider it average. Rayman 2, The Great Escape, on the PS2 is not the same version as on PC. The PS2 version came out later and is improved. There are more levels in the PS2 version, the level order is switched in some places and the levels have been better tweaked to be more fun. Also the variety in gameplay is big. Whether that you get chase scenes or get a different boss battle that you'll have to find out his weakness or just do the typical platforming. The game spices things up to not feel repetitive. It's, it's varied and it's fun. And the locales are diverse too. I recommend it the game. And by the way, I've called it The Great Escape instead of Rayman 2 Revolution because this game is actually a port of the PS1 title Rayman 2 The Great Escape. But when ported on the PS2 it got the name Rayman 2 Revolution, but it's the same game. Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc is great, it's an action adventure, it's linear, you travel with Rayman, do platforming and get to do some combat. The combat consists of Rayman literally throwing his punches and avoiding the enemy's attacks. You get boss battles in the game, all of the levels look great. The only problem with the game are the camera that jumps on its own showing you a portion of the map mid-battle like Hey look, this part of the map looks beautiful and you're like shut up I'm trying to fight here. And some of the level designs are hard to jump on especially in the flashy mini game that you'll have to do to progress in the game. But overall it's a great game. Rayman Raving Rabbits is a success on the Wii. And on the PS2 it's pretty close to the fun you can get on the Wii. Just because the hilarious nature of the game and the fun personality of the rabbits make the game fun even if you don't have motion controls. The motion controls have been replaced with normal buttons and it works out. Sure the Wii version still is king, but if you have a friend by and play raving rabbits on the PS2 in a party it can get pretty fun too. Also the rabbits are as hilarious as on the Wii. And the game is still a collection of minigames. It's the same game, just that now instead of motion controls, you just press buttons and move the analog sticks. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button. 
and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram, or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking until we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.